Yeah, I mean, it wasn't enough though. You know what I'm saying? I was, it's crazy because, you know, you have success as a quarterback and things like that, but the last two times we played Joe Flacco, we've been shut out. So he's got the better half of the deal, bottom line. So, like I said, I, I wanted, we want to be able to start winning games. It's not about me getting interceptions, me getting stats and things like that. And we didn't win the ball game. It was obviously not enough. So that, that's kind of my thoughts on it. How much all that. is this quarterback decision affecting you guys on this side of the ball? Kick the ball! Uh, not at all. Uh, I go into every single game, and I tell the guys all the time, it doesn't matter what the offense is doing. It doesn't matter how many points they're scoring. If it's six points, if it's 30 points, we have to do our end of the deal and keep trying to play dominant football. We have to keep trying to eliminate those big plays and things like that to give our our offense opportunity to win the ball game at the end. You guys, you've been here a while. You've seen number eight make a lot of plays to win games for this team. Right. Is it hard for you to believe you guys are in the spot that you're at now, wondering if he's going to start the next week? Yeah, I mean, this, this whole situation is tough. When you're not winning ball games, these type of things happen. But if it's quarterback decision, coach decision, things like that, uh, number eight has had this entire team, especially my support since, he, since I've been here and since he's been here. Uh, we love that guy to death, and we're going to always support him no matter what. Um, but this is a coach's decision. You know, the coach is always going to make decisions that's best for the team. And uh, whatever he does and whatever his decision is, we're going to support him. Uh, we support 17 as well since, since he's been here as well. So it is what it is. At the end of the day, on our side of the ball, it doesn't affect us at all. We just have to keep playing football. Kevin, you guys haven't given up more than 20 points in a game this year, yet you're 2-4. and four. How frustrating is that from a defender's perspective? Uh, I mean, we've, we've been playing pretty good football. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's, I don't think we're necessarily having a lot of fun because you know we're not going at the end of the game looking at stats like hey we only gave up this amount of points pointing fingers anything like that man we're trying to get w's that's the most important stat in, in everything we can give up 300 passing yards 100 rushing yards or whatever but if we win the games we're going to come here on monday and feel good no matter what's going on there's always going to be things to fix on, on the film we're always going to need things that we have to keep getting better at but wins is the most important thing we're trying to come out on sunday i think it was kenny yesterday said we got to play even better i mean is that feasibly possible for a defense only giving up 15 it, points a It's game? always possible. We can always play better, and that's the mentality that we have to have coming in on every single week because, like I said, when we're not winning ball games, there's no point fingers in this locker room. There's nobody in here going to say, hey, it's their fault, it's their fault. We're going to look at ourselves and say, hey, what could we have done on Sunday that can, that can be better? Giving up big plays, a big run towards the end of the game, like it's been happening too much, so we have to fix those things. And like I said, really control what we can control and not worry about any, any outside things. You said there's no finger pointing. Is there any like thought to one of you guys on the defense, you maybe as a leader of the defense, kind of saying, hey, we got your back. Just do what you do. We got your back. Does that need to be said? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think just always having those guys support because at the end of the day, um, they're not, it's not like they're going out there trying to lose ball games or they're trying to go out there and not score points or they're just telling us, hey, y'all go out there and do what y'all need to do. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those deals where, you know, they're just having a tough time, you know, putting up points on the board. I mean, that's bottom line. But at the end of the day, they're always going to have our support because towards the end of the game, if they would have scored a touchdown, we would have had to keep playing good and keep them in the game. So, like I said, it's just a tough deal right now when, you, when you're losing games, these type of things is it, it, going on. So we had to just find a way to rally the troops, rally everybody together, and see if we can turn this thing around. It, it feels from the outside like this team, and especially this season, is at a crossroads. Do you feel that? Uh, I mean, it's tough to say. Like I said, uh, we're not even at the halfway point. Uh, we're 2-4. and four. It's not the spot we wanted to be in. But I can kind of point to a team last year that went one and five and ended up winning like 10 games straight. So it's not like it's, it's not possible to happen. It's not like, you know, we're always talking about next year, rebuilding, things like that. No, this is still a long season. We have to keep doing what we're doing. We're not going to sit here, like I said, and point fingers. Coaches make a decision on the quarterback, things like that. But from my perspective and our defensive perspective, we have to keep building on what we've been doing in the offseason, what we've been doing this season. And just try to keep fighting, man. That's bottom line. We can't come in here with our heads down and things like that. That's not going to help anything. We have to come in here and just keep fighting, keep fighting, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll just see what happens this week. I mean, honestly, it's not even really about the Chargers. It's about the Titans. It's about what we can do to get better, and uh, that's all we're going to do at this point. Do you have the culture to weather this storm? For sure. I think we have the right guys in this locker room. Like I said, it might not be things that might not be looking good in the win column right now, but we have a lot of great guys in this locker room. A lot of leaders uh, in, in every single room. So. Like I said, when, when things aren't going good, that's what you find out about the culture. So we'll definitely find out about that real soon. Thanks. No problem.